Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. And it is actually quite glorious out. It's sunny once again, although today it's like really sunny. And it's also about 51 degrees already, and it's only like 9.30 ish. Don't know what I'm gonna do today, cause I just don't know. I don't have anything planned. It'll just be me running around like an idiot as usual, and then I will ooze into my office day slash normal Sunday routine. Let's go get some bagels, get home and snarf, and see what the day brings us. Bagels gotten, let's go snarf. All right, kids, here's what I didn't show you yesterday. I'm at Pleasure House Point, and I'm annoyed right off the bat. Here's my threshold. You know, where I say the shit of life stops once I pass there, but as I'm passing to it, right there, some shit bag left a shit bag, and honest to freaking God, the garbage can is right there at the entrance. I just don't understand that. Why'd you even bother to bag it if you were just gonna litter it anyways? Fucking people, swear to God. Okay, I'm on the other side of the threshold, so I'm gonna leave the shit bags back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven great egrets. Ah, ah, ah. Plus the blue heron in that tree, now that I'm at a different vantage point. That's very awesome. Okay, so I was able to turn on clear image zoom. All right, now I heard something over here too. Didn't it figure? Like when I decide not to bring my birding camera, there's always a ton of shit out here. Well, since yesterday, towards the end of the day, I guess we got a little bit of flooding going on here. I don't know that it rained, so this, and it seems unusual this would be from tide action, but either way, this is all like flooded over now, and it wasn't yesterday. So I wonder what I'm in store for when I walk back over this way. Let's check it out. That's as close as I can get. But he's just sitting there, getting ready to hunt. Or fly away. He didn't like my commentary. <laughs> I have a feeling that when I get over here to the little cinder block bridge, it's gonna be completely flooded over. Okay, yeah, this water is so deep. I, I can already see from here how wide this is now. There's no way I'm walking across this. It's certainly not dressed the way that I am. I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I can barely even get over to the rocks, to the cinder blocks, let alone cross them. So no second half of Pleasure House Point for the monkey. Yeah, I would definitely be taking a swim there. So, okay, well, I guess we'll go back and enjoy the sights that I've already seen. So even here in this little lake, I mean, there are a ton of duckies, but they all swam away when I came up. See them all, all heading away and way down there, right about in the middle there, there's another egret. I cannot believe how many freaking birds were out today. It's crazy. All right, so I didn't take my normal loop because I couldn't get to that side because so much is underwater, but that's okay. We're gonna move along now and walk carefully. All right, so as I was saying, we're gonna move along now. It's, shit, I mean, it's not even one o'clock yet. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. More than likely, I'm just gonna go to three ships, get Bean, go home, and then sit in my office all day. All right, let's get back into the Forerunner here and go do something else. Bean has been gotten for both of us, because I want Bean too. Okay, folks, so I have settled into my normal Sunday routine. The laundry's already gone through the wash and it's in the dryer. I've eaten kind of late lunch, early dinner. There was only just a little bit left of birthday chili, but it was delicious. Okay, the other thing that I've done is I've sat here for a half an hour dicking around with this whole setup, trying to get in front of this freaking 65 inch LCD screen. 
and have the white balance work correctly and the exposure and all that kind of stuff, it's a bitch. Now the other thing is I'm leaning way down so that I don't cut all of my melon off, but there's, there's nothing that I can do about that because right now the way that I have the camera set up on the tripod that's far enough away from me that I can get the screen in without any of the surrounding area to break the illusion and the size chairs that I have, if I use the office chair, I don't go up high enough. And then I'm basically down at the bottom. And if I'm sitting on this freaking bar stool, the further away I move it, the worse the light gets. Now I've taken that freaking falconized light and I've turned it all the way up to 100% just to get me to not be a weird psychedelic color. And obviously I'm still looking at the screen because I don't know if this is working or not. While I've been doing that, I've been killing the battery, so I don't have very much battery life left on the a7 IV. It's kind of a pain in the ass because I thought for sure that this would be a hell of a lot simpler, and I don't know what it is. I have like every light on in this freaking office to try to get me visible compared to the back of the screen. Everything's on center, basically. I have it all set to the damn center. I'm in the center of the screen. I know that the eye autofocus, well, eye autofocus is on this eye, and that looks okay but I just, I can't get the lighting to work correctly. So I've played around with the white balance as well. I don't even know what white balance I'm on. <laughs> so whatever, if this looks like shit, too bad, because I'm tired of dicking around with it. So I, you know, like I have other shit to do, but that's pretty much it. I, uh, I've just been doing a whole lot of nothing this weekend and getting myself set up for a whole lot of nothing for the rest of the year despite the fact that I have to go on the road for the next two weeks. And I'm going to now sit down and start mapping all that shit out. But I thought, oh, this will be really quick. I'll just throw the camera up on a thing there and turn on the, the screen and pump the snow scene to it and I'll be good to go. And then that turned into this half an hour fiasco of me rearranging shit all in here. So wah, I'm gonna have to come up with a better, faster, more efficient way to do that. See, this is why I don't dick around too much with, you know, like, oh, it's gotta be this perfect, you know, the, all the pixel peeping bullshit. I don't get into all that kind of stuff. This is a daily vlog. This isn't a gear review channel. This isn't a cinematic masterpiece channel. This isn't a storytelling channel. Obviously, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that every day I just fly by the seat of my pants and I post whatever the hell comes up. Now, I'm the devious monkey, so dumb shit comes up all the time. And half the time I goof stuff up. A lot of the times when I buy all this gear, I'm buying it because I'm frustrated that I can't get an honest opinion on it. I can't get a no shitter. All I hear is a bunch of freaking influencers trying to peddle the company's stuff and they tell you it's great and, and it's wonderful and they've got an entire team of people working on their editing and, and their audio and all that kind of stuff. And they present you these videos and they make it look like they just flipped the camera on and it's just wonderful and it's perfect for vloggers and da 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 da. And then Joe Schmo's like us, we go out and we spend our hard earned money on it, bring it home. We can't reproduce those results and we've come to find that we've been duped because shit doesn't work that way. So that's why I do this. I'm just documenting my life and I am excessive and I love to buy gear and I love to buy electronics. I like to buy guns. I like to go out and have a good time. So when I'm out driving around for day job or I'm out and about going to Target 400 times in a week, I bring you along and I film all that shit. Most of the time, it all works out. You know, my Forerunner setup, knock on wood, cross my fingers, is set now. It's good to go. It hasn't been shifting. There's no vibrations. There's no weird shit happening. It is perfect. I can use either the a7 IV or the FX30. I'm not cutting anybody out. If my wife comes along, I can get her in the frame and I'm not getting the post in the frame. So everything is kind of working out okay. Well, not okay. I think everything works great in the Forerunner, but I can't film in the Forerunner all the time. The only thing that doesn't work in the Forerunner now is that stupid fall cam suction cup mount that I bought that ever since I got my windshield replaced, the damn thing doesn't stay up. It keeps falling down. That's another bridge to cross. But for the most part, that's what this channel is. It's just me buying shit because I like to go out and buy shit and try it and then give a no shitter to everybody out there because not a lot of people do that. Everybody's blowing smoke up your ass just trying to sell product for the company that they're in bed with. And I'm not in bed with anybody. 
And I've also turned a bunch of that stuff away because I don't want to fall prey to becoming one of those shysters that's just trying to sell you a bum product by telling you how wonderful it is because the company has dictated what I can say and what I can't say. And that's not the monkey. So, all right, off my soapbox. Here we are. This is me sitting in my freaking studio with a 65 inch high sense TV behind me, Falcon eyes, lights in front of me, every freaking light and TV and screen on in here trying to get me to look somewhat normal, at least on the damn screen. Now, when I get this off into the computer, I'm going to look at it and it's going to look like shit anyways, but I'm trying to get it as close as possible so they don't, one, look like a lobster or an anime figure that's all blue and gray and shit because I'm none of those things. So this is as close as I can get it on the damn screen on the A7 IV. So let me know what you think. All right, that's enough. I got to go change out my laundry and get busy on the day job stuff. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.